Back in the late 80s, the WWF was skyrocketing in popularity due to having some of the wildest characters in pro wrestling history. Jake the Snake Roberts, the Ultimate Warrior, and Hulk Hogan are just a few of these names, as their energy and presence would spark a fire underneath fans all over the world. And another one of those stars to help captivate the audience through his despicable persona is none other than the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. A spoiled rich character, Ted DiBiase would use his immense riches to his advantage as he would do things like humiliate greedy fans and purchase minions to do his dirty work for him. A few decades later, Ted's son would debut in the WWE under the name Ted DiBiase Jr. And he was immediately positioned in a high-profile role alongside Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. However, unlike the two former names, DiBiase Jr. would leave very little impact on the main roster before eventually leaving in 2013 due to his own personal issues. Since then, he has started a few companies and was looking to be a major success story outside the sport. However, it looks like Ted DiBiase Jr. has decided to take inspiration from his father's old character as he recently was found to be caught up in a serious welfare scandal that turned the son of the Million Dollar Man into an actual man with millions of unearned dollars. Dale Brett DiBiase has pleaded guilty in connection to Mississippi's welfare fraud case. Alongside his brother Brett DiBiase, former NFL quarterback Brett Favre, and a few other names, DiBiase Jr. has been accused of fraudulently obtaining federal funds meant for needy families and low-income individuals in the state of Mississippi. While those poor households were struggling, DiBiase Jr. decided to spend that money for his own personal luxuries, such as a few vehicles and the down payment of a house. And as such, DiBiase Jr. has been charged with several offenses such as conspiracy to commit fraud, theft, and money laundering. These are incredibly serious offenses as Ted could face a maximum of 185 years in prison. And if he is found guilty, then he's most likely going to get the maximum amount of punishment of that alleged 185 years behind bars as these crimes have caused damage to many low-income families and have impacted entire communities of struggling households. There's a saying in pro wrestling when a wrestler turns a work into a shoot, in which the heat of a pro wrestling match will turn into a real-life fight outside the fiction of the show. Well, it looks like DiBiase Jr. has done just that, as his father's fictional character of a sleazy, rich con artist has turned into Ted's real-life persona as he faces these charges. If you want to hear more about this story as it continues to unfold, or if you want to hear more about all of your favorite professional wrestlers, then why not subscribe so you never miss out on the exciting stories of pro wrestling? Let us know what you think of this story down in the comments as it continues to develop. And while you're down there, consider liking this video as it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching!